Hey, this is Kathy from Kathy Cooks for you and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we are doing a minced ginger. Now I get a ton of feedback and love and views from my minced garlic. So I thought I would do minced ginger. Now the reason why I'm doing the minced ginger is because I just got all this ginger in my Misfits Organics box and I'm not gonna be able to use it all. So I'm going to mince it in some olive oil and some salt and it'll be all ready for me to use anytime I wanna make a dish that calls for ginger. It'll last in the fridge for at least two months and you can put it in those little snack Ziplocs and have it in your freezer. Now, is it gonna have the exact same pungent flavor as fresh? No but I tell you, it'll be better than buying the stuff in the grocery store or using that powdered junk that you're probably using. So this is a great way to use up all that ginger you get in your Misfits box, or just you wanna go buy a bunch and make it to have it on hand whenever you need it. You might be new to the world of fresh ginger and you're thinking, what the heck do you do with these? I believe these are rhizomes. Um, now, what I do is I just start by taking off the end that they cut, because it's kind of dry and crusty, and then you're just going to want to peel it. Now, see all these lumps? I just take them off. I know I'm wasting that ginger in there, but ginger's so cheap. And these two, I'm not going to peel each of these little fingers separately. I'm probably going to use them tonight or just toss it. Is that terrible? So this is how you peel it. Oh, it smells so good. Now I wanna show you something. Ginger is very fibrous. It's, you know how like celery is so fibrous? Ginger is too, so it's, it's not an easy thing to chop and always work with because you're, you're using these fibers. So if you wanted to use this fresh, you don't cut this way with the fiber, kind of like with a steak or beef. You want to cut it this way to cut all those fibers up. So I'm going to do that just so my machine doesn't have to work so hard. And I'm doing the first cut for it. And then we're just going to do this with all the other ones and get it all peeled up. I have peeled all my ginger and I have about three quarters of a cup of ginger cubes. It smells so darn tasty. So now we're going to get on to step number two. This is the same process that we did with the minced garlic. It's so easy. You are going to love all the flavor that you get with such little work done. We're starting by putting our ginger in our bowl and then we're going to add some salt. Um, half teaspoon I have in there, not much. Then we're going to turn this on and start drizzling our olive oil. Don't make it really thick. Rather have two or three of these that are thin. That way you can break it off. Gonna zip this up, get the air out, and then flatten it. And that way, when a recipe calls for a teaspoon, you're just gonna go in and break a piece off. It won't be really thick and hard to get at. So see how thin that is? Perfect. So we're gonna do that with the rest of it and put it in the freezer and you are done. That's how easy it was. And it's best to write on it with a Sharpie before you put the ginger in and just label it ginger. And you can also put the date on there. And that way you'll know how long it lasts in the freezer. 